Hey everybody, hope all is well with everyone today. This is Curtis with Off The Bench Global. I'm excited today. I'm in the park, you hear the activity around me. There's a lot of kids playing, families uh, enjoying each other. You know, this is a, a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day out here. It's Saturday, I'm in the park. But listen, I wanna make sure that you guys know that I didn't forget about you. Um, so much is happening in the community with um, a lot of uh, uh, the people that um, I actually wanted to bring on. Um, and they apologize. You know, I told you I was gonna have a co-ed uh, show. So there's a, a lot of uh, the, the men and women that was gonna be on the show. They're out of town due to COVID. A lot of things is happening, you know, as far as um, people being sick. So my prayers are with them, you know, and uh, make sure that you guys are praying for those that are uh, that are feeling uh, ill or what what have you, you know, in this time, you know. Um, Man, I, I really appreciate everybody that's commenting and sending messages uh, to me uh, uh, via uh, social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, sending messages. And sometimes people are, are shy about sending questions, you know, to YouTube um, because, you know, people can see that publicly, you know, and I don't mind the, the messages that you're, you're actually sending. And uh, for an example, I... Um, um, sometimes you don't know how, how far, you know, your platform is actually reaching, you know, because it's only, you know, it's a God thing, you know, period, point blank. Um, a 26 year old guy, you know, stopped me the other day and he was telling me, I appreciate everything that you're doing, um, with the, the YouTube channel. He said it really helped me out a lot, you know, um, you know, and I'm definitely not saying any names, you know, but he tried to commit suicide. And, and I thank God that he wasn't successful. But after, you know, the suicide, he, he thought about his mom and what his mom would be feeling um, if it actually happened, you know. And, and I thank God that he was able to see that, you know. Sometimes, you know, uh, people are going through at this time. And that's why I can't hold back, you know, as far as the videos that I'm actually putting out there. And uh, this video, man, I want you to got, you guys to... Uh, First, let me tell my team, thank you with Off The Bench Global. You know, that's Coach, that's David, that's LC. I appreciate everything that y'all doing, man. I love you guys. And and uh, right now, you know, I, I don't I don't want to feel uh, I'm neglecting my family, which is you, um, you guys on YouTube and um, all the social media outlets. So I want to get into this video. It might be a little lengthy, and I apologize, you know, for uh, the length, but not apologizing for the content. Because right now is a great time, you know. Um, I feel a release, and I thank it. I thank God for the release for fathers. You know, a lot of times people don't is not talking to, uh, or fathers are not speaking because they feel like their their voice is not being heard. Um, they're not uh, in, you know, so to speak. You know, sometimes that we we may feel, or we not feel. But we get called um, all types of names. If it's insecure, if it's, uh, shoot, you name it, you know. But at the same time, us being a father is something totally different. And I want you to make sure that you understand right now is a release that fathers now, we have to stand up and we have to speak out. A lot of times people are not hearing you because they have a hard heart. They don't understand. It's hard for people to interpret a father. You know, if they don't have a father figure in their life or they don't understand what a father is. Sometimes fathers, you know, what we don't do is we don't walk away, you know, from a position. We don't walk away. Sometimes that we have to understand that, you know, we have to pray from you, pray for you from a distance. You know, a house divided won't stand. So it's not it's not easy for a father to to. Uh, to uh, feel as though that you know you are walking away from him we as fathers always feel that we can do more period you know even though that you know you may say to us that you know you're doing enough you know we always feel like there's more that we can do for you you know period it don't make anybody happy that's a father to go away from or step away from their children period point blank or relationship it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to a father to to leave you you know 
and uh, that's the thing that you know I'm, I'm trying to portray in this video that I'm trying to let you guys know fathers it's now time to go ahead and speak up and speak out you know um, a lot of times you know um, as men and men know exactly what I'm talking about and some women will admit to this you know when it comes to certain things that you may tell um, a, a woman um, and and they don't listen they may go to their friend that they believe in and trust in or what have you and they tell them the same thing that you've been telling them for months years days and they come back to you and say guess what such and such said to me but the thing about it is you said the very same thing you know but I just want you guys to know fathers you know it's okay you know that you guys stand up and continue to be who you are you know let's speak out now you know a lot of times like I said we keep quiet now it's time to speak out for an example let me say this to you I'm a, I told you this this video may be a little lengthy but if you stay tuned you there's there's food for you now let me say this you know there's like I said my senior year in high school I said this on the video before please go back and look at our content you know on the video before I talked about my senior year in high school my dad called me into the room and uh, he asked me, he said, Curtis, I know that you don't like me, you know, but there's some things that, you know, I do just for you because I love you. And, and the thing is, in my heart, I lied because my heart, I was hard as far as what, what, what I felt that I wanted to do. Sometimes when we want to do something and we feel like we need to do something, you know, we feel like that person is holding me back from what it is that I want to do. And so... A lot of times we, we disregard that person, that father, because he's trying to protect us. But at the same time, we don't see that he's trying to protect us. He's trying to grow us. We don't see that. We just looking like, why, why is it that you're trying to hold me back from fun and joy and all these things? And, and I don't understand what you're saying to me right now. You know. But at the same time, I told my dad, no, daddy, I do like you. But in my heart, my heart was hardened. And I didn't understand the relationship, the interpretation of the relationship with my father. My dad, you know, uh, a lot of times when it comes to a father, a father sometimes have to, you know, be quiet, you know, or quote unquote, take the back seat and allow someone to actually live their life. For an example, if me and a woman was standing in the front of an auditorium or a church and there's a row of, of chairs, similar chairs, you know, and and I look up the aisle and I see there's two chairs that are out of order. And and uh, the, the woman beside me say, Curtis, you tripping. There's no there's no chairs out of order. There's nothing out of order. But I see it. You know, some fathers, we can see from afar. We see what's coming, you know. So with us being able to see what's coming, you know, a lot of times that woman beside us can't see what we see. But they have to actually go through what it is that is causing them to not see what is what we're talking about to go see and check out those chairs and when they get to those chairs they'll see that you was telling the truth so it's 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 okay fathers because we know that the person that we're with have to go through some things to be able to see what you're talking about to let you know that you're in that that they're in your best interest it hurts yes it do because you love them, but that's the feeling that a father feel right now. But right now, there's a release that fathers, it's now time to stand up and step out and talk, you know? Because the thing is, even with my dad, my dad, a lot of times people, when I say this, people really don't understand, you know, uh, how a father, how a father does things. Do you know that my father, back in the day, you remember when I don't know if it's still in now, uh, if it came back around, I don't know. But my dad used to uh, put finger waves in my daughter's, uh, not my daughter's, but my sister's hair, you know, because they wanted finger waves. He figured out how to do it because he wanted to make sure that they have what they need. That's a father. The father is trying to figure out things to better you. He's going to do it and he's going to try to figure it out. But the thing about this too. Watch this. When you when you actually have, you know, and and this is going to be so important right now what I'm about to say. When you actually have and you move into a new community, right? Oh, let me back up. 
let me say this. Do you know that my father, when we was young, my father used to tell us, you know, he came home from his lunch break. And he'll see his sons will be in our bed, uh, bed clothes or pajamas or whatever. And we have no shoes on. And we're chilling around the house. And maybe our sisters were in the back room, sleep or whatever it was. And my dad came home. He asked us, us sons, he said, what are y'all doing? I said, dad, you know, like he forgot. I said, dad, you know, it's summertime. You know, we, we off school. We don't have school today. He said, do you realize that? If somebody pull up to this house, right? If somebody pull up to this house and they try to come in and harm your sisters, you got to go find clothes, you got to go find your shoes, and then protect them, right? My dad always tried to make sure that we was protecting, you know, our, our sisters, you know, that was in the house. Uh, we had to be on, on, on that, you know, when it comes to our sisters, when it comes to um, our nieces and nephews, we had to be on point. And my dad always made sure that he was make, he was making sure that we was on point when it came to our, um, our sisters or his household. And 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 this is what I've been trained in. This is what I've I've watched, you know, over time. So believe this when I tell you. When, uh, when at the airport, my job. Believe me when I tell you. You talking about professional people, bomb squad. You talk about different things different people from the TSA or whatever, do you know that they make sure that we don't get complacent so they test us, right? And with them testing us, well, they make sure that we don't get complacent to make sure that you're okay, you're protected, right? So with that protection, believe this, so many tests came through where they saw that like how in the world they try to figure out how did I know the things that I knew when they try to test us. Like they said, Curtis, we, we, we did this test, you know, to the point where it was so tight where you couldn't figure it out. How did you figure it out? Because the thing is, I told you, I'm a father. I pay attention to those people. I, the enemy comes in like a roaring lion. He's seeking to whom he can devour. So that means that he's creeping. He's trying to do things. He's trying to get you off your post. This is why a lot of times when a woman is telling telling you or or she she uh, she she diagnoses someone as her friend, you know, that's why it's important to reevaluate your friend as you get older. Reevaluate your friend. Understand what a friend is to you. Understand what it is to you because you got to remember what the enemy want to do is he wants to make sure that he try to creep in and try to figure out a way to get close to those, you know, that are, that are in power. For instance, you have a pastor. Why is it that a friend will want you to introduce, you know, him to the pastor as far as what he wants to do? Because he wants to find a way to get in there. But for him to get in there, that means he got to make sure that you're out of the way. Because you pay attention. You got me? Understand what I'm telling you. That... Anytime that the enemy tries to creep in, the enemy tries to make sure that you're out of the way. That's why you have in a neighborhood, you know, understand this. That's why you have in a neighborhood, you have people that are thieves to walk around the neighborhood and try to find out when you're home and when you're not. There was a commercial like that back in the day. The commercial back in the day was saying that I know when you're home and when you're not. That means that they're doing their homework to find out when you're home and when you're not so they can creep in and do what it is they can do to disturb your ground, to disturb your house, to make sure that you're off kilt so they can get what it is that they want to do. You know, you can't allow anybody into your house, right? So when with me, when I had my girlfriend, believe this, when we moved into a neighborhood, a new neighborhood, a new house or what have you, where I slept was downstairs. And that's what you got to remember, though. You know, I don't do things the same way as other men do. I'm a father. So that means that I'm doing things different. The things that I do different is making sure that I understand what the enemy is trying to do and trying to creep in. So that means that if I do things the same way as what you had before, that means I'm just like them. I'm different. I'm different because I pay attention. Because there's women that are in my house that I have to protect. I care about you. You know, 
I love you. So that means that I got to protect you. So that means I got to think and I got to listen to what it is that's paying attention. So that's what me, that's what I did. There was, there's a time frame that I used to sit on the couch downstairs while everybody sleep. And I used to sit on the couch and just to listen to the noise around the house. I used to listen to what it sound like when somebody pulled into the driveway, when someone drives by the, the house, when somebody's, if somebody comes to the back door and they twist the doorknob. I listen to all those things because when I'm in the house, I'm aware of the sound of what happened when somebody's trying to creep into the house and disturb your ground. That's a father. A father would do something that's different right and to the point where it may annoy you the what he's doing to the point where you may think that this man is insecure this man is don't this man don't know what he's talking about this man don't know x y and z all the things that you may say about a father that's why the bible talks about in first corinthians i think 14 4 14 15 it talks about there's a few fathers right there's a few fathers, but he said in 14, verse 14, he said, I must warn you. There's a few fathers. That means that he's telling you there's there's men or there's people that's out here that's going to try to look like the part, but they don't really play the part. That's why the enemy tries to look like something, right? He tries to appear to be something, but it's only to disturb your ground, to shake up your house. I need your protector to be away from you so I can take advantage of you. That's what the enemy tries to do. You know, so this is why it's important right now for fathers that now, it, I know it's annoying. I know it's aggravating. I know it's, it's, it's your heart. You know, you rather pray from a distance. But at this time, it's good to voice what's happening right now. It's good to voice what 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 is what is going on right now because you are a father you're anointed to be a father where are the fathers speak up and it's okay for you to comment you know it's okay for you to stand up and it's okay for you to be who you are it's okay people are going to call you outside of your name you know yes people are going to call you outside of your name people are going to people are going to try to to damage your name you know but at the same time, be who you are. Let me tell you this last story. This last story. And I'm telling you because you can fact check the information that I'm giving you. You know, when I was in college in Fayetteville State University, I was actually walking through the, uh, to the campus to go to practice, right? And, I, and I, as I was going through, my, my, my teammate, Karan, was walking with me, right? As we was walking under the breezeway, they were some, some guys standing above us, right? And they spat, they spit, and it landed on me. I said, somebody just spit on me. And I looked up, and the guy that was spit on me, he took off running, right? And so when, when, when uh, Karan turned, he said, he said, Kurt, let's go. I said, no, let's go to practice. He said, Kurt, this dude just spit on you, bro. I said, let's just go to practice. We went to practice. Now, watch this. This is when you know it's a testimony, okay? You're talking about 15, 16, 17 years ago, almost 20 years ago, okay? So four years ago, the job that I work at at the airport, this guy came to me and he said, are you Curtis? I said, yes, I'm Curtis. He said, bro, I knew it was you. I was telling my homeboys, I said, I know this dude. And he said, did you go to Fayetteville State? I said, yeah, I went to Fayetteville State. So we exchanged numbers and whatnot. And, and as I was walking away from him, it came to me. A thought came to me. And the thought that came to me was, it reminded me, I saw him standing on the balcony. And I was down on, and he spit on me. That was the same guy four years ago. He started with this job and I knew what he did to me four years ago right I didn't say a word to him about what he did to me four years ago but yesterday the day before yesterday I was at work I was at work and I was sitting inside the airplane and he was standing outside and uh, he said Kurt 
I remember you from Fayetteville State, man. You always used to speak to me. You was always this, man, you was a good guy, man. I appreciate everything that you that you was doing. I said, man, I remember you. This guy from Jersey, you know, he was telling me, man. I said, now, let me ask you this question. Do you remember this? Do you remember standing on the balcony and you spit and it landed on a guy? He said, yeah. He said, oh, my God. He said, Curtis, was that you? He said, that was you, Kurt. I'm so sorry. I didn't even think about this until you just said it. You know? He said, you knew this four years ago? I said, yeah, I knew it four years ago. But it would have destroyed our relationship. Because our relationship is bigger than you spitting on me by mistake. You know? Yeah. It's bigger than that. I'm a father. I hold things until the right time. When God tell me it's a release, I'm telling y'all right now, fathers, it's a release. Don't feel guilty about who you are. People have to evaluate themselves. Harden not your heart. People have to evaluate themselves about who they are and where they want to be and where they want to go. Right? Look at your circle. If your circle are having problems with a father, if it's, it's a father issue in your circle, you know, it's a purpose that everybody that you're connected with is having an issue with a father, right? Because you got to understand, we will make excuses for ourselves for what we want to do. And to the point where we want to do something, it makes you have anger for that person that's trying to bring correction. Because what, what, what a father does, he try to protect you. I see the man. I see the woman that's trying to creep into your house. That's trying to take advantage of you. That's trying to do things. That's trying to make sure that you're, that you're uncovered. The first thing is, let me cause tension between you and the other person. Let me make sure that you understand that this person is crazy. God will reveal to me what's going on. And make, make sure that I'm quiet until he release me to say something. Y'all be blessed. There's more to come. Like I said, pray for my people, the co-ed team. Uh, we will have, uh, we, like I said, this, this series is about relationships. And so they are coming back. We're coming hard. It's going to be more intimacy coming up to you. Look, I love you guys. Off the Bench Global. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. This is Curtis. We love you. Be blessed.